Hey y'all, it's Kara Delin, and welcome back. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I'm a reseller. I started out as a hobby reseller, and this has turned into a full-time job um, and truly a, a independent-run business. So this video is going to cover what I've sold all weekend, and the dates are Friday, May 15th to Sunday, May 17th. And before we start, I just wanted to mention a couple things. The palette that I opened last week, I went ahead and just posted everything that I had. I didn't film opening the other two boxes that were left. I wasn't feeling the best last week, so I just did it in my downtime. Everything that I have spent on that palette, I have now uh, made back in profit. So we're at an even platform now. So I've broken even, and everything that I sell from this point forward is going to be profit. So that's excellent news. Everything is posted. If you're a viewer, if you're a subscriber, you can get 25% off if you use the link that is down in the description of this video. Right now I have it ending uh, in May, so it goes through the month of May. But if it continues to be as popular as it has been, I may extend that out. So we'll see. But for right now, through the end of May, I have ordered another palette. This time it is Target Men's um, Active Wear, Sports Wear, and uh, Winter Wear. So a lot of champion brand items. And I know it's not really the season for like coats and things like that, but they are still selling and I think I can sell them locally as well. Um, so I'm very excited about that. I did make some errors, some beginner mistakes, and I'll tell you more about that when that palette arrives and explain what I did wrong so that hopefully you don't do those things incorrectly if you order your own palette. You live, you learn, right? Uh, I also have ordered a thermal printer. I've been using an inkjet printer for all this time to do my labels and to do my Amazon barcode labels. And it was fine when I wasn't doing as much as I'm doing now, but it's time to invest in the company. And I think overall it was like $230, something like that for the printer and some labels. I got the four by six for the address labels. And then I got the, I think they're like two and a half by three eighths inch or something like that, one and three eighths inch um, that are for the Amazon barcode. So when that comes in, maybe I'll do an unboxing. I'm not sure, but I'm very excited to kind of be stepping up my game in the business. And that's it. So let's get started. Um, I, in total, since Friday, I have sold 32 items for a total sales amount of $545.99. It's an average sales price of $17.06. And I'm gonna go from the least expensive to the most expensive. Here we go. First thing up is this Indy 500 DVD. It is still sealed. And I got this at the bins, so you pay by the weight. And I think that this probably is about half a pound at most. So I paid around 50 cents for this. It sold for $5 plus shipping. Okay. So when I'm talking about the clothes that sell, I'm just, I'm not even going to hold anything up because they're already prepackaged. So you can't really see what they are. So I'll just tell you what they are. Okay. Next up, I sold an Ivanka Trump floral shirt. It was new with tags, and I got it at the bins. It's very lightweight. Sold it for $7 plus shipping. And the person made me a lowball offer. I think I had it posted for around $30, but I'd had it for a long time. And I mean, I didn't really care. I just saw that it was new with tags, and they offered me $7 plus shipping. I think I had it priced at like $8 worth of shipping. So I accepted. Get it moved. I don't care. All right, the next thing are these Poise Impressa sizing kits. And I believe that these are for um, like when you're having bladder leaks, 
you use these. They're actually expired. I don't know if they don't make these anymore, um, but these were picked up from the Salvation Army. They're still sealed, and it's a it's two uh, full kits. Picked them up. Didn't know. Uh, these sold for seven dollars and ninety nine cents plus shipping, and I don't know if that's a good deal or a bad deal, but I made some profit on it, and hopefully somebody needs those. Next thing to sell is this Boston hat. I picked up a bunch of Boston hats. Now I'm in, I was in Louisville, Kentucky when I bought these hats, but I must have bought somebody's full collection of Boston sports stuff. But I bought a big set of these and I paid $5 for a ton of hats. I have one hat left after this one, but it sold for $8 plus shipping. This one does say World Series 2013 Champs. Okay, this next thing is a Kaplan textbook, Kaplan University, which I think is like an online university. Picked this up at the bins. At our bins in Clarksville, Indiana, it's 50 cents for any um, paperback book and 75 cents for any hardback book. So this was 50 cents and it sold for $8.99 plus shipping. And I try to pick up any kind of textbooks. Uh, I check on my Amazon app to see if they are ranked at a decent rank. And even if I'm gonna make a dollar or two, especially when I'm sending them into Amazon, why not? It's like finding a dollar on the ground. You'd pick that up, right? And for the normal weekly appearance, Champion Socks, these are the little liners, and they sold for $10.99. These came in a bulk box. Guys, socks have been a great seller. Socks, underwear, panties, anything like that. People don't necessarily want to go out to the store just to get those things, but they're a need, right? They're kind of an essential item. So they're looking to Ebay's and Amazon's to fill that need. So if you've got anything like that, socks, underwear, bras, stuff like that, undergarments, get it posted. Okay, the next thing to sell were these Yes to Tomatoes. They're like a charcoal acne fighting mask. And it's a set of, I don't know, I didn't write it down, but maybe 10. These sold for $11 with free shipping. And these did come in a bulk box. So this wasn't a great item to pull out of a bulk box but it all balanced out because I got a little bit higher price items in that box and these sold, so I'll take it. I think the only thing worse is when you have something that can't be sold, it's not in resellable condition. Things like that, I'll take. If I can make a little bit on it, I will. And then I will show these. This is a pair of little boys Billabong shorts. I got these in a Via trading box uh, they were Amazon returns, but I'm not um, ungated in Billabong on Amazon. So I sold these, I think I sold them on Kitizen actually, for $11 with free shipping. They're very light, they'll cost me $3 at the most to ship. Okay, so then I sold some Anybody brand jogger pants. They're more of like a loungewear for $13.75 from the palette. A Denim & Co. Chanel button-up sweater from the palette, $14 plus shipping. Then I sold these six Glade Sprays Jasmine Cedarwood is the scent. Picked these up at a clearance event at Dollar General. They weren't a penny, but they were pretty close. I think they were, let's say like 50 cents or a dollar. And I thought they were a highly sought after scent but they weren't, but that's okay, because they still sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Then I sold an Isaac Mizrahi shirt, all of those plain crew neck long sleeve shirts that I opened in the palette unboxing. I think I've pretty much sold out of those. Um, those base layer, just basic tops. I didn't think they would sell, but they sold very quickly. And I sold one for $15 plus Nope, $15 with free shipping. Then I sold this Boyd's Bear. It's a little trinket box. I'll show you how cute it is. 
And this actually came from my mom. So she will get the payment for this. I don't know if you can see that. How cute. It's tiny. Tiny little thing. And it says, I don't know, it says some Christmas saying on it. So it's a little ceramic trinket box. My grandma used to have a store and she sold Boyd's Bear stuff. So we have, we have a ton of it around. But this sold for $15 with free shipping. This Indianapolis Colts bucket hat. It's kind of like a fisher fishing hat. This sold for $15 with free shipping. And I picked up, I don't know, probably 30 or 40 hats at TJ Maxx. It was a retail arbitrage pickup. They were on clearance for a dollar a piece. Now, my son tells me that the Colts uh, logo is changing. I think it was the Colts. So, I think they were trying to get rid of everything with the current logo on it. But I picked all of these up. They're new with tags for a dollar a piece. And I've been slowly but surely selling them. I can't remember if I have any more of these. This might be my last one of this style. And it sold for 15 Free shipping. You'll learn that if it's a dollar, I, I take a chance sometimes. It's like, that's not much of a risk when you don't have a ton invested in it. Uh, then I sold a Denim & Co. Chanel sweater for $15.25 from the palette. Another Isaac Mizrahi Black Basic shirt for $16.25 with free shipping. Susan Graver sweater. And it seems like the Susan Graver stuff goes for a little bit more. You'll, you'll hear that as we go throughout here. Um, sold that sweater for $16.99 from the palette. Free shipping. And then believe it or not, I saw these two things of Taco Bell fire sauce. They're like glass bottles. These two sold for $17.73 with free shipping. And I just picked those up at the grocery store. This is that Ola Popkin. You've heard me talk a lot about that every week. This is a blazer. And uh, this is a plus size blazer I got from the estate sale. I'm well into profit on that deal. And this sold for $18 plus shipping. Okay, then I sold a pair of Lisa Renna with the beautiful lips, a pair of joggers. They were super cute. If they were in my size, I probably would have kept them. $19.99 with free shipping. A Susan Graver top, just a basic top. I think it was floral pattern. $19.99 with free shipping. Women with control, a pair of leggings. They're kind of like shapewear, kind of like Spanx, but they're just a different brand. $19.99 with free shipping. And I sold this robe, right? And I'm going to show you this. This is a Casa Zeta Jones from Catherine Zeta Jones. This is her loungewear sleepwear brand. It is like the softest robe I have ever touched. I pulled one out for my mom. I'm like, you've got to have this. Um, this sold for... $20 with free shipping and it is reversible beautiful I mean it is so soft this one is um, pre-owned so that one's not new but it's it's nice and that came from the palette and then Lori Goldstein um, it's a logo by Lori Goldstein I sold a shirt from the palette for $20 with free shipping and then my only Poshmark sale of the week was this Spanx brand uh, wire-free bra. And this sold for $20 on Poshmark. So on Poshmark, I mean, you could offer free shipping, but I don't typically do that. So they pay for their own shipping. And I didn't put on here how much I get, but I think you pay, I want to say 20% commission to Poshmark. Um, but... Yeah, this one's new with tags from the palette. Then I sold a Lori Goldstein. It's a crepe blouse. It's very thin, very pretty. Uh, that one sold for $21.99, free shipping from the palette. Uh, I sold a nightgown, Carol Hawkman. Uh, it's like a berry-colored long nightgown from the palette. Sold it for $22.99 with free shipping. 
And then from the Via Trading NYX box that I had gotten, I sold four of these rose gold eyeshadow uh, pens, uh, sticks, shadow sticks, four of them to the same person, and she paid $24.14 with free shipping. And these are very light. I think I'll probably pay around $3 to ship those. Okay, I sold a cashmere sweater by, uh, it's a soft brand, and I sold that from the palette, $24.99, free shipping. I sold another pair of the Women With Control jeans. They have reversible jeans. One side is blue jeans, the other side is like a leopard print, or I think there's one that's an Aztec, maybe one that's a crocodile. They're super cute. And I sold that for $26.99, free shipping. I sold another soft brand cashmere sweater for $30 free shipping. And the last item this week, and the most expensive item that I sold, is this GE Space Saver. If you can see the top there, yeah. Space Saver radio. It's just an AM FM radio. That's it. That's all it does. And actually, if you can see that, I paid $4.99 at Goodwill, and it sold for $32.99. Um, I didn't put whether or not they were paying shipping, but even if they're not, I could probably fit that in a flat rate envelope with some cardboard to kind of support it on the sides. So it won't cost that much to ship. If you ever see those Space Saver radios, they go for great money. I don't know if people are putting them in their campers or out in the garage. I don't know what they're doing with them, but the Space Saver radios, check your comps, but they're usually a great pickup. That's all I have for you guys. Um, I am wearing my gorgeous little cover up from the palette when I was opening it. I love this thing. It is so soft. It is so silky. Love it. If you want to check out some other things that I have listed, they're on my eBay store. Appreciate you guys. I'll see you hopefully next week with another palette unboxing from Target. Be safe and I'll see you soon. Bye y'all.